Hi, after you move your character and that、uh, you want to add another kind of movement for your character,、uh, in this video I show you how to do is called a teleport movement. So where's teleport is you can mod any of the、uh, things or objects within your three D world, and when the user、uh, click or touch this, it will transform. Okay, uh, uh, to that particular position. Okay, just teleport. Your player to the positions of this、uh, objects. So you can set any objects: a、uh, cylinder, a、uh, rock, tree, door.、Uh, you can set any objects that have this teleport functions within your、uh, Google Cardboard VR application. So for this sample, I just using the cylinder. So I just build a cylinder here. You can move the cylinder around of your three D world. But the important thing here. Is this cylinder should have a C sharps program attached, and this C sharps will get or will have all the teleport functions for、um, our character movement. So I just have a cylinder here, and I wanted to create another、uh, C sharp. So for my project, I just put all the C sharp within this script, so you can check this out later. And I have a one of is called the teleport controller. And this teleport controller is just a class, and what I did here is very simple. I need a game objects, and I need to move this game objects to the current position. All right, so that's very simple. You don't need to do anything. Just make sure you allow to set which objects you want to move. Okay, for our case, it's the player. So I set one game objects variable at the very beginning. Okay, this is actually just like. Any kind of game objects you can set to this、uh, script, and I set the variable name as a player, and set it to public so you can、uh, modify, and you can define which objects you want to move. Okay,、uh, in Unity,、uh, without touching any of the C sharp, and I also provide one more okay method just like before. Okay, pointer enter, pointer exit. And this time is I want the people or the player press the button. When they press the buttons on top of this cylinder, I want to transform the player to the current position. Okay, so this is the only single line of code to do a teleport. So how can do this is first I just set one more method within this class, and I just name it to point a click, no input, no output, and just Is a public,、uh, so you can access and call it. Okay,、uh, from other game objects, and this is only one thing you need to do. What you need to do is you need to move the player to the current position. All right, so this is what I need to do. Okay, so the player is the game objects. All right, and if you want to move, actually you just move the x, y, z. It's called a position. And the position is under the transform objects, so all the game objects should have a transform. And within transform, you have a position, rotation, and scale. And today we just focus about position. So I just set the player position to a new value. Okay, I don't care where、uh, is the current player. Just send to the current position. Just send to uh, uh, the cylinder position, for example. Okay, so if you want to set this, you just assign a new value for x, y, and z. So the x, y is actually the、uh, cylinder's current position. So every time you call transform position, it refers to the current objects. It determine、uh, depends on、uh, whether you attach the C sharp to anything. If I attach the C sharp to the cylinder, transform the positions mean the transform node of the cylinder. If you attach the C sharp to a rock, transform the position is the position of the rock. So it's very simple. Okay, without any reference, just type transform mean the objects attach the C sharp. Okay, so this is what I need. Okay, because I will attach the script to the cylinder. If I just type transform the position, I will get the position of the cylinder, and I need to get the x and y. 
okay and uh, I just uh, uh, and the Z alright so this is a three but I wanted to move it a little bit higher okay then okay the just not I don't want to put the player just uh, uh, touch the ground so I just add the vibe out a little bit alright it's so not on the ground but a little bit higher uh, 1.5 uh, it just like uh, in unity I, I you can using any value you can think this is maybe most people think it's a the unit of this um, position is a meter so 1.5 is just like okay 1.5 meter above the ground and this should be set as a vector and you need to using a vector 3 that means you set x y and c value and uh, you create this value as a new vector uh, value and assign to the player position okay this is we call the teleport okay so then you save the c sharp attach the c sharp to the cylinder or your door or your tree that you want to people to click and set okay the event is called a pointer click to map to this uh, method and that's it and it will send the player to this position and of course you need to drag the player to the game objects so I save this go back to unity and uh, the first thing you need to do is slide the cylinder okay this the cylinder drag the C sharp to the cylinder and after you drag this to the cylinder you will have the tele uh, controller screen okay so right here okay so I better just remove this one and uh, using my own okay this is uh, just remove this okay it's the sample I just remove this and I just drag this teleport and to the uh, cylinder okay this is the cylinder you can drag here or you can Put it here so now I have uh, the C shops component and uh, you will see the public variable here is empty I need to tell unity uh, which objects I need to move when the people click so I drag the player to this okay variable all right so this is will link that every time I click I will send this game objects to the cylinder position and then I need to map the event is pointer click all right so on top I already have a pointer click here it's a UN trigger and I drag the C sharp to this objects and you can select the uh, method okay for this so I just uh, close it so you can see something very detail all right so you can find this and uh, here we got the uh, the teleport controller class and inside I have a public is called a pointer click so if I select this and that's it all right so if you test it uh, just to play the game and I already have the movement already but this time I want to click on the cylinder and to see whether you will teleport the player objects to the current position okay so if I look down I will walk but I just want to touch it okay so you can see here's the radical and I click this I will send to this cylinder position and 1.5 meter higher than the cylinder okay so you still have a uh, collision detection here so you cannot pass through the cylinder but I just uh, every time I click it I will sit on top of it okay and then jump down to do rock around again so if you know this two uh, character movement I think you already can uh, design a uh, different kind of the uh, game movement or you can do uh, some of the basics uh, 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 I don't know your plan I don't know what kind of a game you're going to create but basically I think if you're using Google Cardboard this is more than enough if you can move around and you can teleport uh, of course you can jump all right if you want to jump you can do something but because you have not much event you can map so head movement is for forward and walk around and the button are already controlling uh, for click something but of course you can still jump okay but now I just keep this simple and you can use my sample code copy back to your project and test uh, whether you can create the same kind of interactions of your VR application alright so that's for today thank you see you in the next video